Hello there YouTube, this is Deleon Francis 60 here and I am doing a review on the J-10 fighter jet from World Peacekeepers. Well, I'm glad I finally have this. I finally have this added to my Air Force. This 118 scale aircraft was a very elusive bird and I finally have it. Before I do the reviews, I'm going to tell you what if you really want to get this aircraft from your collection. My only advice is don't go to eBay or Amazon because you're not going to find this thing. And even if you do, you'll be fighting a you'll be fighting a bidding war or the price will be too high. The only place you can get this from will be MNC Toys online. You have to be a member to so sign up. You can just order it from their main site from Hong Kong. And you know how much it cost me? It cost me only $60 to have this plane. Within a week when I ordered it, one week after that, it just came. It came like last week. Last. I'm glad to have this aircraft in my collection. I've been waiting for this. Ever since um, World Peacekeepers line came out, like around 2008, they advertised this in their backs, back of their box art, but we never get the aircraft in here. It's always um, very elusive. We never get the aircraft from the big lots. The only thing that we can get it was their, their helicopters. The Black Hawk and the Rocket helicopters, I believe, and the little bird that's the only aircraft that we can get our hands on but now I finally have this aircraft this this is my first world peacekeepers aircraft I am trying to get my hands on the Sukhoi the SU um 27 aircraft um but I'll have to wait in there so if you are really want to get these um, rare air caps, I suggest you go to um, MNC, MNC Toys. That's that's the only um, spot you can find this aircraft. Now for the review. Well, for this aircraft, it's your typical World Peacekeepers um, figure. Comes with a few accessories. Comes with a pilot. It comes with a um, air crew over here, two cones, and a gas canister. Um, as for the aircraft, it cockpit's opened up. Put the pilot in there. Pull, pull him up, and it's slightly good details in the aircraft there. You can see from the aircraft design, it's not bad. The paint is it's quite okay, but I uh, probably would give it a another paint. Uh, maybe a wash will do, or probably a customization. Yeah, it, it's an impressive, it's in a good looking plane. The only part that I kind of gripe about this is the decals in their main website. They have the PLA Air Force. They're, uh, the PLA emblem of right here, the sticker, but this it never did or it was never in my box or it's never part of the box. The only came with is in that see in the back, that's the only um um stickers that came with. Um I Kinda um wish they added the PLA emblem up there, the PLA Air Force emblem. I would love to have that. It would it would actually bring it up to level. And I'm trying to hunt down in certain decals for it, but 118 scale is very hard to find in decals. I try to go to the usual spot like eBay. eBay will misdirect me to another whatever search engines is not picking it up. So, if you have any ideas, give me some 
way I can get my hands on a 118 scale PLA decals because I know this had a um in the his tank forum they had a review on this and it has a PLA decal on it. Let's move on. As for the armaments of this aircraft, it has um three external fuel tanks and four missile. For this missile, it, this is I believe this is the PL9 air to air missile and this long one over here is the PL12 um radar gu radar guided missile. And um, this aircraft is basically a multi-role aircraft. So it it probably comparable to an F-16 fighter jet. The the it's a impressive um design I love for for this aircraft and for the features in this toy you can actually do this this fins over here it'll move like that and for the landing gear it always retracts this I don't know what this is this this could be a part of the it's another radar system please I know just correct me from the comment section about this one. Um, it's a, for this, this particular aircraft, it's pretty good. Um, for this, this, the missile though, you gotta be careful when you, um, put this in because it's very hard to, um, pull it out. It's not like the regular missiles, you just pull it out and um, I, it's pretty tight in there. You might want to loosen it up. So I recommend you do that one. For the bottom side, you can see the hard points on it. It's really, it's really simple. Just real paint. You might probably want to paint it. I I know World Peacekeepers. They tend to um paint their vehicles. I have no problem with their vehicle colors because they're pretty good enough. But this has this burnt marking. Like I said earlier, um, if they added the uh, Chinese um, sticker on this thing they would have been it will be perfect so customization is uh, an order on this one yeah uh, yeah if you I would I'm gonna customize this one as for the cockpit you can tell it's really um, needed more paint I would I, I would recommend painting this um, cockpit right in here try to um look at it in Wikipedia Wikipedia or something and do some customization on it. Now the official background history of this aircraft. The official designation of this aircraft is called the Jindu J-10 multi-role fighter aircraft. This is basically uh, compared to the F-16, MiG-29, Sukhoi-27 flankers and any multi-role aircraft out there in the world. The only um, countries that are using this is China, but they had Pakistan had plans to purchase this a couple of years back, but they decided not to. Um, they decided to cancel it in favor for the J-31 Shenyu fighter, I believe, stealth fighter fifth generation fighter um it hasn't seen any combat history because it's fairly um new just came out 2008 and it had its development cycle was in the late 80s to combat the western and russian aircraft at that time so but there is an export version of this aircraft that they're probably um, going to be selling soon with other countries because China is always want to go into the weapons market. So, the, this aircraft has seen a lot, a little bit of in the news. You can see them flying in the um, Tiananmen Square um, parades, and they will they'll go against like not they'll go fly over near the Shinkaku Island 
near the coast of Japan and it'll go in South China Sea to do a little, some flyovers but you hear in the news that's basically how they do um we get information of it, like it hasn't had any um combat history um fortunately we don't have to see that kind of war we don't need a war in our lifetime but if you want peace you better prepare for war um now for the background there is a there's a controversy going on that the the Chinese may have stolen some Western tech for this technology for this aircraft. They may copy it from the Israeli Lavi um um aircraft, but sorry for butchering that name, but they probably copy but because if you look at it it kinda looks similar. But except it, the that aircraft, the La V, it looks like an F sixteen, but this one is def some parts of it are pretty much identical. He's it probably got influenced by it. So it's probably from the original J nine um aircraft. But overall the J ten will probably be here will will be here to um stay to come for for the Chinese Air Force. Now for the comparison from other toy lines. Well you can see from the left that the Motor Max um F twenty two is slightly bigger. It's much more closely from the right with the GI Joe um X thirty aircraft. So if you have a GI Joe figure you want to fit in there, like Wild Weasel, you can put them in there. You can paint this um if you don't like the color of this aircraft, paint it with Cobra colors. You can. So overall this aircraft is um pretty decent for me. Um you but I do have to warn you guys, the plastic is pretty a little bit flimsy, so just be careful. Don't um it might break on you, so don't just be careful when you um you you do it um play around because I know um world peacekeeper figures are pretty cheap, so they will um they will break on you. So uh everything in this for if I wish I had a comparison I could compare this to another world peacekeeper but I don't have any at the moment I would I will probably do like I said I'll probably do a customization in this um, aircraft with little paint I'll probably make application on it I am gonna have to hunt me a decal on, on PLA um, decals on this I'll probably have to get a 148 scale like I did with the F22 here. Uh, paint. I probably do a little wash, likely. So, so this is my um video on this my review. So this is just give me a comment, subscribe on my channel. I probably official. I'll do more videos like this, and hit that no notification bell and give me a give me your opinion on this. So this is Dagon Friday 60 signing off.